This is US Mobile. They use Verizon and T-Mobile for coverage, and they offer both custom and unlimited data plans. Their new unlimited plan starts at just $40 per month, and their new family discount brings the cost down to just $28 per line. Family perks also include getting your favorite subscriptions covered for free, such as Spotify Family, Apple Music, Netflix, Disney Plus, Hulu, ESPN Plus, and even gaming services like PlayStation Plus or Stadia Pro. 10 gigs of international data are also included for free with the unlimited plan, keeping you connected when you travel abroad, if and when we're able to do that again. Clearly, a lot has changed since US Mobile first launched in 2014, and since I first reviewed them in 2015. But what is the experience like using them in 2020? And more importantly, how do they compare with the competition? To find out, I signed up for four lines on US Mobile, both on their T-Mobile and Verizon networks. I wanted to test out all the planned features and services they had available. And this is my full review. I'll cover everything you need to know about US Mobile, including how they got started, what their different custom and unlimited plan options are, what features are supported with the plans, what the service limitations and caveats are, and even how to sign up for US Mobile and transfer your number if you feel their plans are a good fit for you. Per usual, you can find timestamps linked in the video description, so feel free to jump to the section of the video you're most interested in. With that said, let's jump into it. US Mobile was started in 2014 by Ahmed Katak, the same person who founded GSM Nation. The whole idea behind US Mobile was to democratize cell phone plans by giving choice back to the user. That's why they launched with custom plans where you could choose exactly how many minutes, texts, and megabytes of data you wanted. They started by using T-Mobile for coverage and later launched on the Verizon network in 2017. US Mobile couldn't use the brand names per their carrier agreements, so instead they called their T-Mobile network GSM LTE and their Verizon network Super LTE. US Mobile quickly grew in popularity. Inc. Magazine ranked them 94th on their list of fastest growing companies in America, with revenue growth over 3,300%. This growth meant US Mobile was able to negotiate better rates with Verizon and T-Mobile. They dropped their prices in October 2018, further reduced their rates in October 2019, when they first introduced their popular $40 unlimited plan, and most recently updated their plans and prices on September 4th, 2020, with what you see today. US Mobile offers two types of plans to choose from, custom plans and unlimited plans. Let's start with the custom plans. Custom plans let you choose the exact amount of minutes, texts, and megabytes of data you want. You can choose to get just minutes or texts, just get data, or do any combination. You can also opt for US Mobile's $10 unlimited talking text plan and pair it with a data amount. If at any point you run out of minutes, texts, or data, that feature will stop working. However, you can purchase more with what US Mobile calls top-ups. Top-ups allow you to purchase more minutes, texts, or data to carry you through until your plan renews. Top-ups will roll over too, with some limitations. On GSM LTE, all you need to do is have auto pay turned on and all top-ups will roll over. On Super LTE, the top-up category needs to be part of your base plan in order for that top-up to roll over. For example, if your base plan is just minutes and texts, then no data top-up will roll over to your next month of service. However, if your base plan includes a certain amount of data, let's say 50 megabytes, then any data top-up you purchase will roll over to your next billing cycle. Interestingly, top-ups are not taxed, so it may be to your advantage to select a base plan with just minutes on US Mobile GSM LTE and then add texting and data top-ups to build your plan at a slightly reduced price. Now, this is only for those who want to more actively manage their plan, but it is a interesting caveat. All custom plans include full speed LTE data, support for the mobile hotspot, and even 250 megabytes of international roaming data on eSIM compatible phones. The biggest downside to custom plans, in my opinion, is that you're not given any sort of notice or heads up when you're running out of minutes, text, or data. It can be frustrating having your messages be blocked mid-conversation or having your phone automatically disconnect in the middle of a phone call. Thankfully, it is easy to monitor your data usage with the US Mobile application. 
You can clearly see how many minutes, texts, and megabytes of data you have remaining, and even purchase more via top-ups if you feel you're running low. But still, I'd love to have US Mobile add the option to opt in for email alerts or SMS alerts when a certain category is running low. Custom plans tend to be best for lighter data users, people just getting their first phone, kids, grandparents as a backup or emergency phone, or honestly, with the data-only options for tablets, or for people who have dual SIM compatible phones and want to add in a data add-on uh, for getting coverage on the Verizon network or the T-Mobile network. Another nice feature of US Mobile is if at any point you don't need service but want to keep your phone number, you can choose to snooze your number for $2 a month. This will essentially keep your number safe until you're ready to reactivate it or switch to another provider. The second kind of plan US Mobile offers are their unlimited plans. There are three options here. $15 for two and a half gigs, $30 for 10 gigs, and unlimited all for $40. I realize the $15 and $30 plans are by no means unlimited, but the reason they are grouped in the unlimited category is they do include unlimited minutes and texts, which was an option that was previously not available with the custom plans. So that's why they're in the unlimited category. Anyway, these plans are competitively priced and they're geared to compete with the likes of T-Mobile's $15 Connect plan and Boost Mobile's $15 plans as well. These new plans were just introduced with the September 4th update, and honestly, I think they're great. I have both of my grandparents on the two and a half gig plan for 15 bucks a month. They really like it because of the affordable price point and because they get Verizon coverage. The third plan is US Mobile's Unlimited All plan. And right up front, I want you to know this is not a true unlimited plan. On US Mobile's website, you can see it reads, this plan includes 50 gigabytes of high-speed data on Super LTE and only 15 gigabytes of high-speed data on GSM LTE. Clearly, going with Super LTE is the better option here because you not only get the Verizon network for better coverage, but you're also getting significantly more data. There are three variations to US Mobile's Unlimited All plan. The base plan is $40 per month and includes 50 gigs of data at five megabits per second down and two megabits per second up. For $5 extra, you can upgrade to the Ludicrous Speed plan, which provides full speed LTE data. And for $10 extra or $50 a month, you can get the Ludicrous Speed upgrade plus 10 gigs of dedicated high-speed hotspot data. These plans naturally beg the question, how fast is five megabits per second, and is it fast enough for my data usage needs? I've been using this plan for about the past month, and honestly, it gets the job done. Content does load a little bit slower sometimes, but it works for everything. Music streaming, video streaming, gaming, social media, web browsing, it works great for all of those. I'll actually have a video out soon comparing the five megabit per second plan versus the ludicrous plan. So get subscribed to stay tuned for that. But for now, I would honestly say try the $40 plan with the five megabit per second speeds and see if it works for you. If it does, great. You'll save yourself $60 per year. And if not, no worries. You can easily upgrade to the full speed plan for just five bucks a month extra. And this brings us to US Mobile's new multi-line discounts. All variations of the Unlimited All plan are eligible for this discount, and this is where things get exciting. The second line gets $10 off, and the third and fourth lines each get $20 off. This brings the total cost of four lines on the base Unlimited All plan to just $110 per month, or $28 per line, which is a tremendous value. What's also great is this discount is applied automatically when you go to add a line to your account. So you literally can't miss this great deal. And the deal gets better too. When you have three or four lines of unlimited all, US Mobile will cover the cost of your favorite subscription services. With three lines, you can choose any one perk from one of the three categories, music, video, or gaming. Then when you add your fourth line, you can choose a second perk, but it has to be from a different category. So if you choose video for your first perk like Netflix, then your second perk can either be from music or gaming. To make things easy, instead of having to sign in through a special portal or link your accounts together, US Mobile will instead reimburse you for your chosen perk. All you need to do is make sure you have auto pay enabled for all your eligible lines, and then you email verifications at usmobile.com. You put the name of the subscription service and your phone number in the subject line, 
and then you attach the receipt of your service that shows a billing period for the current month date in the email. And that's it. When I emailed support, I heard back within 30 minutes that my subscription had been verified and the credit would be applied to my account when my plan auto renewed. The benefits to this method is US Mobile is able to offer a wider selection of perks to choose from. And because there's no linking accounts together, if you were to cancel your US Mobile service, your subscription service would not be affected. And because it's a reimbursement method, you also have the flexibility to change which perk you want. If you wanted to, you could actually sign up for a new perk each month and US Mobile would reimburse you for that service. The one downside to this plan is yes, you do need to email US Mobile each month with your receipt and get verified so you can get that discount credited to your account. But otherwise, I honestly feel this is a great way for US Mobile to add value to their plans. All right, now that we've discussed all of US Mobile's plans, let's dive into what features these plans include. And the best way to do this, I think, is with a quick comparison chart. So let's take a look. On the GSM LTE side of things, the feature set is pretty much the same between iPhone and Android. You're looking at full support for MMS, voice over LTE, mobile hotspot, FaceTime over cellular, HD video streaming, and international data add-ons available with an eSIM compatible phone. The biggest difference is that on iPhone, you need to enter APN settings for group and picture messaging to work. To do this, go to settings, cellular, cellular data network, and then enter the APN settings. I found the fast.tmobile.com APN settings works best for me, and I'll leave these typed up in the video description. On Android, I found the APN settings were configured automatically, so you may not need to do this, but US Mobile has guides on their website for all the APN settings, should you feel you need to correct them. I also found that Android has the option for Wi-Fi calling, but I don't believe it actually worked. The icon stayed as voice over LTE instead of switching over to voice over Wi-Fi on my OnePlus 8, and calls said HD instead of calling via Wi-Fi calling, as they do on a proper T-Mobile Magenta plan. The last thing to know about GSM LTE is that yes, 5G access is fully supported on T-Mobile's non-standalone 5G network. This means you can enjoy 5G coverage and data speeds on compatible devices. That is GSM LTE. Let's move on to Super LTE. Here, things are a little different. Both iPhone and Android support MMS, voice over LTE, and mobile hotspot, but iPhone gets support for visual voicemail, whereas Android does not. iPhone users also no longer need to enter custom APN settings, everything just works, and FaceTime over cellular continues to work as it should. Now, the biggest difference between GSM LTE and Super LTE is that Super LTE caps Netflix data speeds. Running a fast.com data speed test reveals the speeds are capped at two megabits per second, the same as on Verizon prepaid. These speeds are typically optimized for standard definition video streaming. If you'd like to get around this and stream HD video content, then you may consider using a VPN or virtual private network. Carriers cap Netflix data speeds by identifying Netflix video content being streamed on your device and then imposing the data speed cap. However, using a VPN hides what kind of data you're consuming and thus a carrier can't tell the difference between regular content and streaming Netflix video. This allows you to get full speed data on Netflix and enjoy your shows in HD quality. I used ExpressVPN to test this out because they're one of the top rated VPNs for streaming Netflix content. And honestly, it worked great. And I was even able to partner with ExpressVPN to give you a special offer where you can enjoy three months free when you sign up for a 12 month plan. Visit expressvpn.com slash Stetson to take advantage of this promotion. Another great VPN is NordVPN, and I will leave links to both Express and NordVPN down in the video description if you'd like to get your Netflix content on in HD quality. Now, something interesting on both GSM LTE and Super LTE is that I found my mobile hotspot worked even if I hadn't paid for the hotspot add-on. Take a look. Here is my baseline unlimited all plan capped at five megabits per second and with no hotspot support. Yet the hotspot option is available on my Galaxy S20 Plus 
And furthermore, when I connect a device to it, it continues to get the five megabit per second speed cap so you can tell it's working and connected properly. I found this hotspot glitch or feature worked on all of my unlocked Android phones on GSM and Super LTE, but it only worked on GSM LTE on my iPhone. Lastly, I wanna to touch on international data roaming. US Mobile supports international data roaming in over 140 countries using an eSIM data plan. The way it works is you get an eSIM compatible phone, including a newer iPhone, newer Samsung phone, or the newer Pixel phones, and then you can activate an international data plan on the eSIM. It's important to note, however, these international data add-ons do not support international calling or texting. Instead, you'll want to rely on your favorite messaging apps, such as Facebook Messenger, Signal, Telegram, WhatsApp, or others to stay in touch with your friends and family. What's super nice is the custom plans include 250 megabytes of complimentary international data, and the unlimited all plan includes up to 10 gigabytes of complimentary international data in supported countries. You can see which countries get what amounts of data on US Mobile's website. Some of these do change from 10 gigs to five gigs to one gig because the data rates are more expensive in those countries. You can also search to find rates for plans in supported countries right at the top here. Having an option for international data add-ons via eSIM is a great feature and one that I think makes US Mobile service unique. Now, speaking of that, how does US Mobile compare with the other options out there? To do an accurate comparison, I think we need to talk about price. From my experience, US Mobile adds about two to $5 per line to the cost of their plans with their $2 service fee and with additional taxes and fees. Now, I do appreciate that US Mobile has updated their website to be more transparent about these fees, but they are something to keep in mind. So with that said, and factoring in all these taxes and fees, let's compare US Mobile with the competition. On the GSM LTE side of things, I honestly don't feel US Mobile is worth it. T-Mobile Connect delivers great value if you're looking for a monthly option, and Mint Mobile's bulk pricing model simply can't be beat. 15 bucks for three gigs or $30 for 35 gigs are some of the best prices out there. Plus, Mint supports more features such as Wi-Fi calling and even the option for international calling and texting. On the Super LTE side of things, however, I think US Mobile delivers a tremendous value. In fact, I'd call them the better version of Verizon prepaid. Check it out. Verizon took away their multi-line discount on June 24th, 2020 in favor of this new customer loyalty discount. Now, this can be great for some customers, but for others, it takes a full 10 months before you're getting the best value plan on Verizon. With US Mobile, on the other hand, multi-line discounts are applied automatically and immediately, and you can enjoy their 50 gig plan for as low as $33 per month with four lines on your account. Plus, you'll get two of your favorite subscription services covered for free. And even for single line users, I feel US Mobile is a great value. Instead of paying $35 for five gigs, you can pay just $36 for 10 gigs. And instead of paying $45 for 15 gigs, you can pay $47 for 50 gigs. And again, US Mobile's plans include all taxes and fees in this comparison, whereas Verizon's prepaid plans do not. Another popular option on the Verizon network is Visible's $40 unlimited plan. Visible has hands down the better pricing but their network technology means their service will only work with select compatible phones. And many online users have reported that Visible has higher pings, leading to increased latency in your connection. US Mobile will likely have lower pings than Visible, and more importantly, US Mobile will work with all Verizon compatible phones. US Mobile also includes the international data roaming via eSIM, whereas Visible currently lacks any international data options at all. So that, is US Mobile. Ultimately, I think they're a better version of Verizon Prepaid with their multi-line discounts, their available perks, the service features and add-ons that are available, the international eSIM plans, and with what they have coming next. US Mobile has teased 5G plans coming soon, and they've also previewed an autopilot AI plan that will automatically analyze your usage to configure the best plan for your needs. And they also recently rebuilt their support system from the ground up to help deliver you a better customer support experience. US Mobile is basically a tech company that happens to be operating in the MVNO space. I think they're doing some really cool things. 
I enjoyed my experience using their network, and honestly, I think you will too. If you're interested in signing up for US Mobile, you can check out my full sign up and activation guide here, and be sure to use code FREESIM to get a free US Mobile SIM card shipped to your address. So what do you think of US Mobile? Let me know with a comment down below. Also feel free to leave any questions down there and I'll try and answer them as best I can. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. I spent a lot of time on it and get subscribed for more videos like this one. Also be sure to visit my website, bestphoneplans.net to easily compare plans, prices, and features. I'm Stetson, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. And then when you add a fourth line, you can choose a second perk, 